Hi, YouTubies! It's me, Zachary Michael, also! Hi, hello, how are you doing? I have that red Dutch oven. Is that a lit croissant? Because I literally... I used to have... Well, and by I used to have one, I mean I bought one for Noel for Christmas one year that that he took with him, um, which is fine, because I didn't cook in that Dutch oven a single fucking time. Uh, but anyways, hi, YouTubies! It's me, Zachary Michael, also! And here we are, back, back, back again, this Thanksgiving week here in the U.S. Uh, there will probably be less content this week just because of the holiday, so my apologies in advance, but it's so good to see you, it's so good to have you here. We are here to watch, uh, we, we come to this place to laugh, is what Nicole Kidman said, um, and we're here to watch this recommendation from Twitch user Diet underscore Sodi, who shared this. I, I did no vetting. As far as I can tell, Diet Sodi, not here in the chat today. N not that if, Diet Sodi, if you are here, no obligation to talk. Um, just normally you do talk if you are here and I haven't seen any comments from you today. Um, and yeah, I did no vetting. This could be the worst fucking reaction in the world. And we're just going off of vibes. We're just going off of vibes. And Diet Sodi is somebody who's regularly love, in... Love, love, my cream all wheat, wheat. H-I-L-I stinkies. I still exist. Beef Piss Flaps 69. Thanks so much for 13 months of subscribing at Tier 1. I for, I forgot. I forgot to turn off the alerts, but uh there's always one that's allowed to to sneak in. <laughs> there's always one that I'm I'm okay with sneaking in at the beginning of a of a reaction for the YouTubies. Um anyways, where was I going with that? Oh, I trust Diet Sodi. Because they are like a, a frequent a frequent contributor to the chat, they they tend to have they tend to have good taste when it comes to nonsense to react to on the internet, and yeah, I'm just trusting them. This is a girly pop named Calamity Girl. She has sixty five thousand subscribers. And I'm oh my god, Cal Calamity Girl, calm down. I hate when you click on a channel you're not subscribed to, and it gives you like their little whatever they've decided is needs to be a highlighted video. But this is her sixty five thousand subscribers. Her about says, "Wait, can you see see this? Can you let me make this a bit a bit." larger in case you can't see it um i am a 53 year old woman who is medically retired from being a flight attendant with a major carrier because of an injury i occurred while in the air okay lots of sharing lots of stuff that i may or may not need to know as a result i developed a disease called multiple sclerosis or ms for short I live on a 20-acre ranch in the western Wyoming mountains. So if you care to find me, look to the western Wyoming mountains. That's a little wicked for you all. <laughs> That's a little wicked because we're in our wicked era. Um, I am a full-time content creator and my channel is about comedy. Do you think she considers herself a comedian? Do you, do you think she considers herself a comedian? Um, there's a guy on, in, in case you're not uh, on Twitch, YouTubies, uh, there's a, a guy that I'm friends with that streams on Twitch. His name is Scootish, and he used to introduce himself by saying, I'm Scootish, and I would classify myself as a comedian. And I'm like, but do you got jokes? <laughs> do you got jokes? Anyways, my channel is about comedy, cooking, cleaning, and friendship. When I go live, the chat is a major part of my show. Please join my live shows on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 4 p.m. Mountain Time. I cook a meal or bake a goodie from one to two hours. Welcome and enjoy. Oh, and then she has an email from myyahoo.com. Love, love a yahoo.com related domain name. Wait, does she have live streams? Pumpkin dump cake? She's got the pumpkin dump cake. Oh, my God. <coughs> oh, I love this thumbnail. Instantly make new friends by chatting with me. 
Nothing says comedy like oversharing your occupational injury. I mean, that was my thought. She's from the generation of ladies who tell you their entire life story because you accidentally made eye contact in line at the grocery store. And I love that. And I love that for her. What do you know about a pumpkin dump cake? Well, oh my God, calamity struck again. I lost control of my eye. What's going on? Oh my God, no. Uh, no skill mac and cheese and it's the thumbnail is literally an AI generated image. How How is that not AI? That cheese is not real. Those noodles are not real. Not pump and dump Lodane. Oh my god. Also, if you're watching on the YouTubies, Lodane of Life Plus Cindy fame is, is here in the chat today. Um, oh my god, guys. I have canned pumpkin that needs to be used, so I'm attempting a dump cake for Thanksgiving. Oh my god, let us know, Jamie. Let us know. 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 Do, 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 do. Anyways, sorry. I'm getting so distracted. There's buffering. Oh, my God. Not the buffering. Not the buffering. People in the chat saying there's buffering. It's been a while since we had a buffering issue on the on the stream. Anytime it's buffering, potentially just consider uh, refreshing. <coughs> I'll post a picture of it in Discord in my new Pioneer Woman pan. Okay. Okay, Vanessa and your Pioneer Woman baking dish. Uh. Your stream's fine for me. It might just be on there. And it was it was more than one person in the chat that said it. But if anybody if anybody is uh if somebody could put a message of to those people to just tell them to try refreshing the stream, um, that might be a good place to to start. Anyways, the video specifically that Diet Sodi suggested as a video called How to Make Three Cheese Pesto. Three Cheese Pesto, which like my understanding also of pesto is that it's usually, I think like, um, like pine nuts, question mark, and like basil and Parmesan. I think it's like the basic building blocks of pesto. I've never made my own pesto, to be honest with you. Um, like, it's just, I if I've ever wanted pesto in my own home, like not getting it at a restaurant, I usually just buy a jar of pesto and go that way. Um, Katla in the chat says, olive oil, basil, parm, and pine nuts. Oh yeah, the oil is an important part of it too because it's like what emulsifies it or whatever. Not that I really, again, just so we're all on the the same page, like, as always, I'm not a professional cook, but I do, I am an expert in that I like to eat food, I know what looks good, um, and you're always welcome to correct me if I, if I talk some bullshit about cooking when I don't know anything. Uh, there was somebody in the... There are a number of people on the Thanksgiving Dump and Go video that were like, no, Zach, you're supposed to do this. The, the Oh, it was the bacon and the green beans. And people were like, that's how it's supposed to be. And I'm like, sure, that's fine. But I also don't want that soggy ass bacon. Like, I get that it's just for flavoring. And I also don't want it in my green beans. Um, anyways, all of that, that is besides the point. Are y'all ready to watch her make this three cheese pesto? Because I'm also like, how what what cheeses are we putting in it? And also, this is like a stick of butter that we're getting ready to watch her put in here too. So, I'm curious. Again, I've not vetted anything. If y'all are ready to get the party started, could you put some 69s in the chat? I'd really appreciate it. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I'm so fucking annoying today. I really am. It's a problem. I need to get it together. <laughs> I need to get it together. Get it together, Zachary. Get it the fuck together. Any day now. Hi, Nikki Lash. Welcome to your first stream. So happy to have you here, bestie. 
Appreciate it. Thanks for thanks for making it. Mm -mm. 369. Damn we fine. Oh my god, Lodane with the classics in the chat. Oh, also if you're wondering about my very stylish uh bandana. I got it from a person on my volleyball team, and I just think I look so cute. And also, I worked out before this, and so my hair looked kind of crazy. And so I was like, what? How can I, how can I, how can I make up for that? Let me just wear this bandana. I feel like I'm going to look probably a little crazy in the thumbnail, and or just in general. Like, I don't know how this reads on, on camera. You're channeling your inner Vanessa with the bandana. Does she wear a bandana like this? I don't know. Anyways, let's get to, let's get to. If it's too loud or too quiet, let me know. I've literally, um, like I said, I didn't vet her at all. So we might have to make some adjustments. Hey. Hey. Okay, diva. What is this? What is this seventies porn music? <laughs> what is this seventies ass porn music? It is time to go to town because I have to go to the dentist and to the grocery store uh -huh. and then to old cowboy store. Let's make a day of it, huh? What does the dentist and the cowboy store got to do with? What's that got to do with the three cheese pesto? What, what does the dentist got to do with your three cheese pesto? And what the fuck do you get at the cowboy store? I mean, that, that's got to be a Wyoming thing. Uh, my friend Sam that does a podcast with Half Moon Joe, he's from Wyoming. Maybe if we don't get answers here, I will, I'll message him and ask him what what it means to go to the cowboy store. Let's roll. Ooh, it's Whoa. snowy. F first slip of the season. Wait, did she slip? Let's roll. Whoa. Oh, her car, her car slipped. Ooh. Oh girl, you're doing all this while you're, you're filming all this while you're driving. You need to focus. You need to forward focus on driving down that road. Ooh, that's beautiful though. Who knew Wyoming was so gorgeous? That's Gorgiana. That really is beautiful. I just live in the fucking Midwest where everything is flat. Every time I go to the West Coast specifically and I'm flying anywhere and I see like mountains, I'm like, it is wild. Wild to me that everything is just not flat. <laughs> Because that's all I experience every day. But this is beautiful. Like, that's really gorgeous. There's Snow King. And that's one of the local Snow? Uh, ski resorts we have here. Oh, I was like, Snow King? Where the fuck is Sardine King? <laughs> also, though, she you can see the reflection that she's literally holding this up while she's driving? Question mark? I assume she's driving. She has it alluded to anybody else being there so I don't know it's time to go into the supermarket oh maybe she's not maybe she's not driving it sounded like somebody just closed the door so maybe maybe she was not maybe she wasn't maybe she was driving safely now I got stuff to pick up so let's I, do it I like her little freckles wait let me shut the fuck up because she's adding sound effects the supermarket now I got stuff to pick up so let's do it <laughs> wait okay editing queen she added that sound effect for when she raised her eyebrows I got stuff to pick up so let's do it Oh my gosh, also filming queen. Look at her having somebody record her with her cart. Okay, I literally need the girls to step up their game because I don't even know what this queen's name is outside of Calamity Girl, but she's giving. She's giving cinematography. Blue cheese makes everything better. Okay. 
Is she putting blue cheese in the pesto? Girl, are you going to put blue cheese in the... No. Uh, I hope not. I hope the blue cheese is for something else. I don't get to the grocery store very often, so this is a big deal. <laughs> Ooh, <bro> <laughs> <style>. <laughs> very often so this is a big deal okay Ooh, brioche style it, it the best for olive oil is either to be in glass like this or in a 41 oh my god there is too much happening now there's a little too she's talking there's screen transitions there's words on the screen Glass or tin is best for olive oils. Plastic can leach chemicals into the oil over time. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so much. There is now too much happening. I cannot handle it. It's the flight attendant personality. She's in the know and a woman of entertainment and charisma. Okay, sure. Oil is either to be in glass, like this, or in a tin. forty-one cents a. Like that's the that's the issue. It, like the that's what the is so chaotic about that editing transition right there is that she had a new clip of her already starting and talking over the last clip of her, and that's too damn much. <laughs> That's too damn much for me. I figure I'm like 80% microplastics at this point anyways. Honestly. Like for, if you're a millennial, microplastics are to you as like asbestos and lead are to like boomers. <laughs> Truly. Uh, okay, this says don't just read the price tags. Read how much... It costs per volume, then compare that, not the price tag. That is where they get you. Calamity Girl, thank you so much for your most basic ass grocery shopping tip. I would have never known that without you. Um, an ounce. So that seems to be the, the best buy. And this is good for um cooking or frying or anything you need with oil at high temperatures okay, wow. oh corn Boop. boink boink frying or anything you need with oil at high temperatures oh cornstarch i go through a lot of cornstarch because um it is inexpensive and it is cheaper to use She's a little loud in my ears i'm gonna turn her down just a smidge <coughs> Um, uh, I'm also confused because does this have anything to do with fucking three cheese pesto or are we just doing a little grocery store stopping, short store shopping? Use your oil more than once and then clean it up with some cornstarch. I'm going to make some candy pecans. Word. I like thick spaghetti. <laughs> what the fuck you know about thick spaghetti, girl? <laughs> What the fuck do you know about thick spaghetti? I also like a little thick spaghetti. I, give me a thick old noodle, you know? Pecans. I like thick spaghetti. <laughs> Rosemary. Oh my. Rosemary. That needs to be something. I don't know. I don't know what it, but just her going, Rosemary. <laughs> And in case you weren't sure if she's enjoying this experience, I do appreciate that she keeps adding captions to the video that say, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> girl, chill. I'm overstimulated. Love the effort, though. Much more effort than the other girlies. There, But I do agree, though. There has to be some kind of happy medium here. There needs to be some kind of happy medium. Perfume. What? Oh, my perfume. What? <laughs> Pesto for my family. And I have everything else I need to make the pesto, so that'll be good. It's the season. <gasps> <laughs> 
Why was she rubbing garlic on her <laughs> on her <laughs> She she's a quirky one. She's a quirky one. She is in fact having fun. She is fun, funky, fresh. It's she's we're, this is this has been a lot. I really hope she took that head of garlic to buy. I hope she put it right on back. I hope she put it right on back for someone else to buy. I hope she said, here's all my makeup and face germs on this garlic. Y'all can have it. Y'all can eat it. I'd like to think the person is not someone she knows. It's random people she's passing in aisles. I mean, that would be funny if just some random person was filming all of this for her, but no. I don't have much of a social life because all I do is work. Well, you can come in Albertsons anytime. I'll I can't. I can't. But you know what? You know my subscribers are my... Are your people? They are. Wait, what did this caption say? Let me take the captions off for a second. The checker was very excited to meet me, and I thought she was precious. Very is she is is Calamity Girl a uh is she, is she famous? Is she Wyoming famous? That the checker was like, oh my god, I've I've met a celebrity. I've met a celebrity. I've met the Calamity Girl. YouTube's Calamity Girl. Social life, because all I do is work. Well, you can come in Albertsons anytime. I'll I can't. I can't. But you know what? You know my subscribers are my... Are your people? They are. She said, I don't need to, I don't need to come be social with, with you peasants in, in the real world at the Albertsons. I've got I've got subscribers on the internet that I can talk to. <laughs> My new recipe magazine has a recipe for lobster vanilla bean bisque. It's Amy Slate encoded AF. I gotta get caught up on the, on the one thousand pound sisters. I'm like two weeks behind. And and the gag is is that tomorrow I want to make a Chantal video. So I'm just gonna continue being so far behind on one thousand pound sisters content, and people are gonna get upset. My brother got recognized for his YouTube channel when he had 300 subs. It can happen anywhere. T. For some reason, people on the internet know me. I've met, and by people on the internet, I mean people in real life. Like, I've ran into lots of people myself, so. It is what it is, divas. I need to know how she has so many subs because her views are not great. Girl, I don't know. I I looked away. Was it the Twin Towers? No, it was not. It was not that. It was just an explosion. It was just an explosion in general. That was crazy. It was crazy. I glanced down for a moment and missed it. What happened? I'll replay it. I'll replay it. Hi, guys. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh god crazy uh these guys were hanging in the road on the way home had to stop for a quick chat with them and it looks like it's like mountain goats or something hey 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 boop 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 you know i was talking with the girl at the checkout stand and I didn't even check my receipt to see how much it was. Ooh. So let's unpack this. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh, about what these. are those? You look before I go. Girl, could you tell me what those were that you were so excited about? <laughs> she really is a meme queen. She is. She's obsessed with the, the memes and reaction gifts. They were grapes. They were grapes. I don't, were they? Like, I'm praying for under 200. That's what I made from YouTube last month, so that's what will cover my groceries. Okay, rich queen. She made 200 last month so she can pay for her groceries. Let's go. 187 27 
you. I'd never forget you. I'm, it's time for me to cook dinner now and I'm gonna make the. What is going on? Calamity girl. Calamity girl. The fridge gag always gets me. The fridge gag always gets me. Yeah, we're only three and a half minutes into this 11 minute long video, by the way. she And she's done so much in just three and a half minutes. It's kind of crazy. Um, yo, okay, if you can pay the grocery bill with YouTube, you are a success. Uh, yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. For sure, for sure. Especially because, like, her content is seemingly making food with the groceries she buys. So if she's coming out even on that, like, good for her, for sure. Uh, this is hectic. It is hectic. It is a little overstimulating, too, but... You know what? That's actually... The vibes are so different than most of the, the girlies we watch over here on Twitch. Like, none of them... Most of them do not have this energy, you know? The creamy triple cheese pesto. Okay. I could go for some pasta. The, all this music is a lot. Hey! Oh! Wait, look at the dog. There's a dog and a cat. Let's get rolling. There's, there is too much music, though. There, I need the music to go. But the home, Gorgiana. I, I think, what a life. What a life. Lemon. Okay, we got I lemon. Need, oh, yeah. I need my three cheeses. Ooh, okay. I do kind of also maybe get the sense that maybe she does know what she's doing cooking wise. It feels like she could. I just need, I'm just at this point a little worried about all the music. Like, I feel like, uh, does she use, um, does she use, does she use, what is that, that, sound service epidemic sound it doesn't look like she does if you want to achieve pesto perfection like me then watch this video in this video not only will i take you around the local grocery store here in jackson hole wyoming girl what do you know about jackson's hole what do you know about jackson's hole uh, I will show you how to make the best homemade pesto sauce. Don't miss out on this tasty recipe by Calamity Girl. Pine nuts are very expensive. And so you can substitute pecans. You can substitute Oh, Jackson Hole? Rich. Is Jackson Hole a rich people place? Is that is that where rich people live? Why do y'all keep saying, damn, she's rich in the chat? I don't know shit about Wyoming outside of, again, my my acquaintance Sam who used to live there and uh, Jeffree Star lives in Casper or has a ranch in Casper or whatever, the yak farm. And then, uh, what's his name? King Cobra. That's all I know about Wyoming. <coughs> Living in Jackson Hole is such a flex. You can tell by that big ass house that she's rich. Jackson Hole is a big destination and is gorgeous. Lots of rich people have Jackson Hole homes. I I want to know a little bit more about Jackson's Hole, you know? Um, okay, well, I opened Zillow and damn. <laughs> Tubi Studio looks like it's a royalty-free sub music subscription. Okay, good to know. We might have to mute some stuff in in YouTube later, but life will go on. Life will go on. King Cobra and Jeffrey live in the same place. Yeah. Yeah, girl, don't you remember whenever um What's Her Nuts was visiting King Cobra and she wanted to go to his store or whatever? <laughs> What's her nuts? N naked and laughing, Jessica. She made she made him take her to the to the 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 yak farm or the store or whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, girl. Yeah, they they're they they breathe the same Wyoming air. Substitute walnuts. Walnuts is probably the most affordable. And okay. I've also read that you can substitute pistachios, but those are very expensive too. The music is so annoying now, Calamity Girl. Could we could we not do that in the future? So why would you want to do that? <coughs> So I'm using walnuts. Come on, walnuts. Remove the leaves from the basil. Okay. I might just, if that's all it's gonna be, if if it's just gonna be music with, with some captions, I might mute it for a second. Chopping walnuts unnecessarily because my mini food processor is going to do that, duh. Uh, adding olive, olive to the basil leaves. Is she she's not talking otherwise there'd be captions, right? Add walnuts. Okay. Well, I should just check in. Oh, yep, it's still just music. Okay. Still just music. I mean, it seems like she knows what she's doing. Ooh, red fox came for a visit. Oh, there's a fox. Oh, that what what a beautiful what a beautiful part of living in nature like that I guess maybe oh, this music has gotta go though I like the other fun editing stuff she did but the music's gotta go this fox is fun the fox is fun okay she's talking she's talking again all right get get us take us home I have a new a new um, Tupperware. And I'm gonna get this paper towel wet. Not damp, Ooh. but wet. And what do you know about getting it wet, Calamity Girl? <laughs> <coughs> did you see the deer in my backyard last month? Scared the shit out of me. Uh, no, I did not, I did not. I'd love to live somewhere that Gorgina though. I'm in the same boat as Zachary Michael. I live like 10 feet above sea level, so it's flat. I know, I feel that. And then I'm going to place it in this um, Tupperware. This one right here. Okay. All right. Oh, she said, she said no music for this part. <laughs> and this cilantro. Which I'm not complaining. I'm just noting that she just left it silent. Sometimes silence is golden, you know? Well, come here with me. Come here to me. I'm so silly sometimes, but you know what? That's like, I love to be silly. Okay. Yes! Same! Same, my silly sister in Christ. Same. Same. I love her. I love her. I love her. That's my silly sister in Christ. Absolutely. So, a little earlier, I made some pesto. And yes, I look put it at her. In the fridge for it to just chill a little bit, you know. Okay. Chillax. And um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make our cheese Alfredo pesto. Let's do it. Okay. Boink, boink. Ah, more music. Okay, we're muting the the music. He wants to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, All right. Let me get the cheese out of the refrigerator. All right. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Bubba Sparks. Bubba Here's, Sparks. Um, Parmigiano Reggiano. Ooh. That Ooh. Was a good accent. Uh. <laughs> that was a good accent. I didn't hear an accent, but I was also yapping. Reggiano. I have here some Parmigiano Reggiano. Girl, there was no accent. I, there's just no accent. There's no, there, I don't, there wasn't an accent. Ooh, that was a good accent. Uh. <laughs> and then here I have some Romano. That's oh, my favorite. Love and Romano. And here I have some Asiago. Love I like Asiago. I like all these cheeses together. They're good. I fucking love cheese in general. That's great. That's stunning. Oh, here comes the butter. Here comes the butter and the cream. Okay, first lesson in Alfredo is to slowly melt the butter and cream together. So slowly. 
Also, though, I mean, not that I'm an expert, but I, I feel like I've heard that, like, authentic Alfredo doesn't actually have cream in it. But I, give me a, a creamy Alfredo, please, every day. I bet she gave extra Diet Cokes on the flight. Oh, my fucking God. Wait, can I tell you, my ass regularly flies southwest for whatever fucking reason. But my friends that I traveled to Rhode Island with like to fly American. Um, and I forget that on other flights, you get full cans. Like, American Airlines gave me a full can of Diet Coke. Why, why on Southwest, they open up a communal Diet Coke and they pour you about this much? I need to start flying American so I can always get them full Diet Cokes on the flight, you know? But then the problem is, is on the way to Rhode Island, on the way to Rhode Island, I had to piss so bad. And it was probably like, at one point, the captain came over, the intercom is like, oh, we'll get there in about 15 minutes. And then a countdown just started in my head of like, when am I going to be able to piss? And it fucking sucked. And then we landed and I still had to wait. And I was just like bursting at the seams. And it's all because I drank that full Diet Coke. I'm convinced. <coughs> but on the way home, I also had a full Diet Coke and I didn't have that problem. So here we are. Here we are. Okay. And in the meantime... Let's cut the cheese. Work! <laughs> okay, fart jokes. This girl is my girl. Diet Sodi knew what was up. Diet Sodi knew what was up. Oh, there's more music. God damn. That's the problem with her, though. She's, she's doing a lot in terms of production value, but I can't do all of the music. <coughs> oh, wait. She's talking. She's talking. She's talking. What is she going to say? What are you going to say? So much healthier for you than the bag cheese. The bag cheese has so much um, preservatives in it, and uh, it's not good. You, you'll you have to take the fucking bag cheese out of my cold, dead hands, girl. I'm, I'm too lazy to do all this work. It's just not good. All right. All right. Well, keep grating your cheese. This is probably going to taste better than bag cheese, to be honest. It's probably it's probably going to taste better than bag cheese, if we're really being honest. Wait. Okay. okay. All right. How about that for some Asiago? That's a lot and of I cheese. I don't want this to boil. Oh, this looks, this looks right like yet. it's going to be so good. At low and slow... I do feel like she kind of knows what the fuck she's doing, you know? Mixed together. You could see how fattening this is, but that's okay. The big thing I know about the shredded cheese is just, like, the, the keto girlies who are worried about the, like, one carb per serving of, of shredded cheese from the bag. And I just am always just like, girls, it's not worth it. Like, have the one carb from the shredded cheese. Like, just, just have it. It's, it's really, like, you know who used to do keto? Famously me. And I always ate bag cheese because my ass was what? Lazy. Okay? It just, it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna tip the scales for, for your keto journey. It really is that. It really is it. Now, quality-wise, there really is. I do think, like, shredding your own cheese does improve the quality, just coming from somebody who has tried it before. But if you're lazy, use the bag cheese. Use the bag cheese. So, what I want to do right now, I want to salt and pepper this. Okay, work. Okay. Yes, salt and pepper it. A little bit of salt. Uh-huh. pepper. Salt and pepper's here and we're in effect. Want you to push it back. This is cheese butter sauce. Well, there's not any cheese in it yet. It's just cream and butter, actually. Okay. <coughs> look at that. Now oh, there's look cheese. Look at that. Would and you look at it? Move this together. Oh my god, this is gonna be so decadent. So rich. This she already is a three cheese Alfredo. <laughs> well, yes. Well, yes. <laughs> Actually. Stop here. 
No, we don't. What are we adding? What are you oh adding to gosh, it? Oh my gosh, you guys. That oh, the pesto. Right there. But you know what? We're going to add this pesto. Okay, we're. So what I'm going to okay. do is I'm going to get a whisk. Okay, diva. Oh, I, I like the way her mind works. Oh, I love the way her mind works. Okay. Stunning. And let's let this uh, hang out underneath the, or hang out with the fire for a little bit. And then. Oh, mm, yeah. Get right oh in there. Oh, my God. That's to die for. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's oh, yeah. Again. Hell, yeah, brother. You get in there with your finger. Okay. The the porn music is back. We got to we got to stop. She's bo she's just boiling some water for some pasta. Get um some stuff going on. Hang on. Husband, he's going to help with the salad. Okay. Cuz I am I'm running out of steam. I haven't sat down for about 4 hours. Oh my and God, that's girl. A long time for me. Get get some rest. Get some rest. We're going to pause for the sirens just real quick. She's got a pot filler goals. What is that? Oh, the thing. Yeah, she does up there at the top. The thing that like you pull out and like fill from your fill your pots while it's like sitting there on the stove. <coughs> um, I had a lot of success on keto, but our world just isn't designed for it. So it's either too expensive or too time consuming. Yeah, I, I hear that. I hear that bestie. Is that a wiener dog? Where was the wiener dog? Where did you see a wiener dog? Hang on. Husband. He oh, wait. Oh. He's going to help. Oh, us. it might be a wiener dog. It's just right there at the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. Salad. Because I am. I'm running out of steam. I haven't sat. Down. Wait. Oh, we could get a better look at the dog if we have the captions down off. For about four hours. And that's. A long time for uh, me. Ma'am, I need to see the, I need to see the wiener dog. Can I see the wiener dog? Yeah. Okay. Can you hold up the wiener dog? I thought that I had my video going the whole time and guess what? I didn't. But anyway, Damn. I have this leftover uh, rosemary butter. Uh -huh. And so. That looks I, so good. Um, put it on that. And so, and what I'm going to do is. That, that bread looks so good. I'm hungry. Calamity gal, I'm going to come to Wyoming and you're going to make me some three cheese pesto Alfredo pasta. You know, soak the top a little bit. I need this so and it bad. Goes into a 425 oven for 15 minutes. 425 blaze it. I think that's what it said. Okay, 425. She's got Is that are those two different ovens? Does she have two different ovens right there? For is it 15 minutes, Tom? Uh, 12 to 15. Okay. Oh my God, look at her oven mitt too. It's like a bear paw. It's like a bear paw. Her oven mitt is so fun. Uh, yeah, she has two different dogs. One's like a blue healer. One's like a, a dachshund wiener dog. 425 for 12 to 15 minutes. Yeah, look at, look at, did you see the little blue healer back there? Okay, 420. This is so chaotic on my end, too, because I've rewound so many times today, and I apologize to the people that struggle with that. But there's just so much to take in. I gotta, I gotta pay attention. I gotta focus. <coughs> Flight attendants make bank, or maybe Tom does. I'm assuming maybe her husband. Also, I'm sure the price of real estate in Wyoming looks different than a lot of other places in America, you know? 25 for 12 to 15 minutes. There's, there's the little blue healer looking dog. Ooh, she's making raviolis. The pasta's Let raviolis. Siri, um, help me out. Come hey, on, Siri, Siri. Put the timer on for five minutes, please. Oh wait, oh. I hope that's not triggering anybody. And by anybody, I mean your iPhones. <coughs> okay, we don't need we don't need the music. I could use less music. This is just a Zach thing. If you're new to me, 
I don't love a lot of, like, B-roll footage with just random royalty-free music behind it, mostly because it's just not interesting to me. Uh, but I know for some people it is very interesting, but it's just my personal, my personal feelings and take. Is it a healer or Australian cattle dog? Did she? She didn't say. This is all just people, us noticing dogs in the background. She is not actually really fully, re I think she noted that the dog came inside at one point. She talked more about a fox outside of her home than she's talked about her dogs. Anyways, this ravioli looks delish. There's more cheese over there. Oh, she's splitting up that ravioli into two bowls for her and her husband, I'm sure. Okay, work. She's putting on the, the pesto. Looks delicious. I need this so bad. I need it real bad. God, I don't want to cook myself food tonight. God, I don't want to cook myself food tonight, but this looks so good. All right. Let's see. I'm Calamity Girl, and that's my point of view right there, Bubby. Bubby! Yay! That was my point of view for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It meant a lot to me to make it, and I'm so I glad you did. you taking the time to watch. So I will see you on my next video. Don't forget to watch my shorts because I have one or two coming out every single day. Oh, good. Okay, guys, take care. Let me just leave a comment right now. Thanks so much for sharing this amazing video and stunning recipe. I had so much fun today. Love it. Love it. Love it. No notes. No notes. <laughs> Just love and adoration from me. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry for the coughing. If you don't know, I've been coughing. Um, okay, stunning. Wonderful. I think that's all I got for the YouTubies. But YouTube, thanks so much for hanging out today. And giving this new diva a little time and a little chance. Um, I had so much fun. I hope you did too. And subscribe! Bye, YouTubies!